Welcome back to my nail channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Nail Attic Gel Polishes. They did reach out to me and sent me five different gel polishes to try out. I have been hearing a lot about this brand lately, so I'm super excited to be testing them out. I did get a choice of five different gel polishes, and the ones that I chose are White Addict. This is a super bright white gel polish. I did kind of have a design in mind, so I picked the colors based off the design that I wanted to create. The next one that I got is called Beyond Gorgeous. This is a darker shade of red. I really loved the swatch on the website, so that's one reason why I picked this specific red shade. The next color that I picked out is Black Addict, so this is a black gel polish. I always love to test out whites and blacks when it comes to testing gel polishes from new companies or companies I haven't tried before. I feel like that's a really good indicator if their gel polishes are good or not. I've also been needing a good nude gel polish, so I picked the color Sea, Swing, and Sun. I think this swatch on their website was so beautiful, so I had to get this color. And of course, I cannot test a gel polish company without trying their No Wipe Gel Top Coat. I absolutely love No Wipe Gel Top Coats, so I'm going to test this one out and see how this one is. I'm going to go ahead and swatch out the gel polish colors on my swatch wheel. Please ignore the fact that it's a little bit dirty with other colors of gel polish. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys each of the gel polish shades. I will be doing two coats of each color, that way you get the full effect of each gel polish color. I knew right from the beginning of opening up the white gel polish bottle that this was going to be a good white gel polish. I think it's really difficult to find super pigmented white shades of gel polish and this is one of those companies that their white gel polish is pretty opaque. So you can maybe get by with one layer of this depending how thick you apply it. Keep in mind you don't want to apply too thick of a layer otherwise I do have to say to when I did the first layer of wrinkles, this red shade, but I, I do got think this really is nervous a super because white gel polish super pink and that's not what I wanted at all for the design that I had in mind. So I was a little bit nervous, but after applying the second layer of this color, it does turn out to be a lot more like the swatch on the lid of the gel polish bottle. So yeah. I do have to say the layers of gel polish I'm applying are a tiny bit on the thick side, but this black gel polish is super pigmented. I didn't use it for this video, but I will be using it in the future for other nail designs. I do have to say this new gel polish color is the one I was the most excited about. I absolutely loved the swatches on the website and I did need a really good new gel polish color and this is definitely it. As you can see it is pretty sheer but that's exactly what I want when it comes to a nude gel polish color. Of course you can apply a tiny bit on the thicker side layers of gel polish and also do multiple layers of gel polish to get this color to be more opaque but that's how it looks with one layer of the gel polish color. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this under my UV LED nail lamp and I'm going to be applying another layer on all of the colors. I am going to cure all of these swatches and then apply the no wipe gel top coat after they're all cured. So after the second layer of gel polish has been fully cured, I'm then going to take the no wipe gel top coat and apply a layer of this to all of the nails. I do really love the consistency of this no wipe gel top coat. It definitely is no wipe because after they're cured, I have no sticky layer at all. I do really love the shine that it gives the nails, so this gel top coat is a thumbs up from me. So I was kind of playing around with the bottles a little bit and I found out that the color swatches on the top of the lid does pop off. I thought this was funny because in the no wipe gel top coat one, they just didn't put anything. It is a little bit understandable, but I think it's a little bit funny. 
I also did the same thing with the nude color and this is what it looks like. They basically just pour a little bit of the gel polish color in the lid. They then cure it. It doesn't have a sticky layer or anything, but yeah, they just pour the gel polish color into the lid, cure it, and then snap it on the bottle. I'm going to be super honest, I feel like if you're brand new to doing nails and you don't have gel polish colors, you need a good white and black and a good nude color. I would also recommend maybe to try a fun color like red, blue, green, purple, anything like that. But I do really love all of these colors. As I said, I will link everything down below. So let's go ahead and jump into the manicure portion of this video. I have already prepped my natural nails and applied some jelly tips, which I have shaped into short almonds. I do think it's really nice to try different nail shapes every once in a while, so yeah. I have also applied a thin layer of the new gel polish color on my other hand because I really love how this one looks. Aside from testing out these gel polishes, the main thing I wanted to go over was the differences in hand painting your French tips and doing the Jelly Stamper French Tip Hack. So I am going to be going over the pros and cons of each of those in just a little bit. So I'm going to take the nude gel polish color and apply two layers of this onto all of the nails. This is going to give me a good base color because I am doing French tip nails for this video. I do really love these gel polishes. They're not super runny, which is one thing I look for when I look for gel polishes. I personally don't like super runny gel polishes, and this is not one of those companies. By the time I got to my thumbnail, I did not have any flooding in the cuticle area of any of the other nails, which is a really good plus for this company in my opinion. I also think the brushes on these gel polish bottles are really good. They are kind of like the typical gel polish brush but I feel like it applies the gel polish very well. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint a layer of this on all of the nails. So after I have the layer of gel polish, I am going to turn my hand upside down for a few seconds before I cure. This is going to self-level out the gel and make sure that the gel polish is very even. I'm then going to cure under my UV LED nail lamp for one minute. As I said, I am going to be doing two layers of this color just to make sure that I have a really good base layer color for my French tip nails. So here you can just watch me do the second layer of gel polish. And of course, I'm going to cure that under my lamp. So now I'm going to be taking the color White Addict and I'm going to be using this for my French tip nails. Here's a little close up of the gel polish color along with the brush since I didn't do that in the earlier videos. So as I said, I'm going to be going over the differences between using the Jelly Stamper Hack and hand painting your French tip nails. I'm going to be starting with the hand painted French tip nails. I'm just going to add a small drop of the white gel polish onto this little plastic container to easily pick up with my nail art brush. You can use whatever you have. This is the nail art brush I'm going to be using and I'm going to start by picking up some of the gel polish and start at the corner of my nail and slowly curve the white gel polish line as I get to the center of the nail. I'm going to repeat this on both sides to create the smile line of the French tip nail. 
You can make this line as curvy or as flat as you would like. I would personally just recommend to make it a lot higher up than you would like and slowly work your way down the nail until you're happy with the curvature of the line and also how thick your French tip nail is. This is just going to give you a little bit of space for imperfections. After that, you're then going to take the brush from the bottle and fill in the tip of the nail. You can also use the liner brush that you were using to create your smile line with, but I thought it would be a lot quicker just to use the brush from the bottle. Once you have the tip filled in, you can then see how the nail is turning out. You can go back and fix any imperfections. I personally don't like how you can see light coming through the nail in between my natural nail and where the French tip starts. The reason starts. that is happening so I am is going because to go the gel polish color just a little bit that I use my smile is on the sheer side. So of course it's not going to be super opaque. Once I have it how I like, I am going to cure under the lamp. I am going to be doing another hand painted French tip nail on my middle finger nail. So while I do that, I am going to go over the pros and cons of hand painted French tip nails. The first pro is it's completely customizable to how you want your French tip nails to look. So if you have a certain vision of exactly how you want your French tip nails to look, you can definitely do it by hand painting your French tips. With this method, you can also create a super flat or very curvy smile line depending on your style of French tip nails. Doing hand painted French tip nails also gives you a very professional French tip nail look. The reason for this is you are hand painting the gel polish onto your nail, which does prevent the whole gel polish from bubbling up and making the nail look a little bit too thick or too thin. So for the cons of hand painted French tip nails, it can be extremely difficult to create French tip nails if you do not have a steady hand. The reason that you need a steady hand when it comes to hand painting your French tip nails is it does show imperfections very easily. So if you don't have a steady hand, it's definitely going to show in your smile line work. So you do need a steady hand when it comes to hand painting French tip nails. It also does take quite a bit of practice to understand where to put your smile line and how to make all those smile lines very even. And in addition to a lot of practice, it can take quite a while to do a full set of French tip nails that are hand painted. So as you guys seen while I went over the pros and cons, I did add a second layer of the white gel polish onto the nails. So now onto the Jelly Stamper Hack French Tip Nails. As you can see, I do have a little rip in my Jelly Stamper, but that's okay. We're just going to be working around that. I'm going to take the White Addict Gel Polish and I'm going to add a layer of this directly onto the Jelly Stamper. You can use different nail products. You can use nail polish or acrylic paint. I personally just love to use gel polish because it's my choice of nail product. So after you have the layer of gel polish, you're then going to stamp the nail. You do want to make sure to angle the nail correctly depending on what kind of smile line that you want. And I personally love a more curved smile line, so I'm going to keep my finger a little bit more parallel with the table. You also don't want to dip your nail into the center of the polish. You want to start at the very bottom before the gel polish and slide the nail into the polish. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and push the nail directly into the gel polish to get the smile line that I want. You do want to be very careful not to push too hard, otherwise you will rip your stamper. You can also dip back in to fix the smile line if it's crooked or add more gel polish onto the tip of the nail by re-dipping back into the stamper. And yeah, this is basically as good as I could get this nail. It wasn't curvy enough, so I didn't want to just go ahead and fix the corners. I am kind of like cheating here, but I wanted all of these nails to match. So I'm only fixing the corners of the nail where I couldn't get the smile line to be as curvy as I would like. I am going to do that on the other side as well. So I am going to go ahead and do this on my pinky and thumbnail. So let's go ahead and go over the pros and cons of the Jelly Stamper French Tip Hack. So for the pros of the Jelly Stamper hack, it's very quick to do a set of French tip nails. Like honestly, if you're not super picky about how your nails turn out, you could probably do a set of French tip nails in like 5 or 10 minutes. It is also a very unique way to do French tip nails. The only time I've ever seen anything similar to this is how to do French tip nails with dip powder, which is a very similar method for French tip nails. 
Another pro is you can do a flat or curvy smile line depending on the angle that you dip the nail. Of course, this is only up to a certain point. As you can see, this is actually a perfect example of what I'm talking about. I was not able to create a super curvy smile line like I was with the hand-painted French tips. That is why I'm having to go back and fix the corners of the French tip nails to match the other two. So keep in mind, if you like super curvy French tip nails, this is probably not going to be a good method for you. So now for the cons, I feel like it's pretty easy to rip the jelly stamper. And even if you push too hard, you can rip your sharp stamper, which will prevent you from using it as or a jelly stamper. Square. I also feel like with this method, you get quite a lot of product on your fringe tip, which can make the nail look very bulky. It also gets if on you your skin polish, very you easily, try to wipe especially the back off, and the sides of the nail, which can be bad that if you have to do gel polish, which can cause product allergies. After the nails are and cured, if you're I'm like me, going to take you the nail wipe gel top coat and apply it which later, can also be a con. onto all of the nails. As you can see, I only did one layer of the Jelly Stamper French tip nails, so that may be another pro for Jelly Stamper nails is you don't have to do multiple layers of it because it adds so much product onto the tip of the nail. So honestly, I'll leave that up to you if you want to add that to the list of pros for the Jelly Stamper hat. So honestly, in this video, I was not trying to discourage you from either side. I just wanted to give you some pros and cons to let you choose for yourself which method of doing French tip nails will be best for you. Let me know down in the comments which is your favorite. Hand painted French tip nails after or the jelly top coat has been applied. Hat. I'm going to hold my hand upside down for a few seconds to level out the gel and then I'm going to cure. After the nails are cured, I'm then going to start my nail design. I am going to be using my dotting tool, the small side of my dotting tool, to pick up the red gel polish. I'm going to take the color Beyond Gorgeous, which is that beautiful red shade of gel polish. You can use something to put the gel polish on, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to be dipping the dotting tool directly onto the brush to pick up the gel polish. So I'm going to get a decent amount of the gel polish on my dotting tool and I'm going to start creating cherries on the side of the French tip nail. You can make these as big or as small as you like. You can also place them wherever you want. I felt like for the design that I was going for, I wanted something very simple. So I did do them quite small and on the side of each finger. You can also just do this on one nail if you like a cute little accent but mainly have French tip nails. For the look that I was going for, I wanted to do cherries on all the nails. I think they came out so classy and I absolutely love this design. It's very simple and it's very easy for beginners to create. So after I have my cherries on all of the French tip nails, I am going to cure for one minute. Then I'm taking my very fine nail art brush and some green gel paint and I'm going to be drawing the stem of the cherries. Honestly, looking back now, I kind of wish instead of the black gel polish that I got a green gel polish so that I could have used the same brand for the stem of the cherries. But honestly, I wasn't thinking. I was thinking I could just outline the cherries with the black gel polish. But honestly, as I created it, I thought it would make the design a little bit too dark for what I wanted. So that's why I did not use the black gel polish for this video. But as I said, I will be using that color for a future video. So after I have all of these stems of the cherries, I'm going to cure under the lamp. Once the nails are cured, I'm going to take the No White Gel Top Coat again, and I'm going to be adding another layer of this onto all of the nails. Honestly, you don't need the first layer of Gel Top Coat, the one that I applied a few minutes ago, but personally, I love to do nail art on a Gel Top Coat surface. I feel like it just gives me a better opportunity to make better nail art, so that's what I do, but if you don't like that, you can definitely do the nail art before you apply the Gel Top Coat. I think that's just totally up to you. 
and last but not least, we're going to cure for one minute. And here are the nails. I think this design is so cute and elegant, super fresh. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!